next day. Had a great, very peaceful night last night. I have prepped the tires with my floor mats. It's got rocks underneath of it. And now I am getting ready to deflate the tires. So this is, uh, this doesn't work calling the tow truck. It's about 7.30 in the morning. So, you know, if it takes some hours to get here, so be it. I did uh, do have uh, gloves. <laughs> Better late than never. My uh, my little blister wound is going doing pretty good. I tried to dig down as much as I could to kind of get the floor mat under there. And then I have another thing. As you can see, the tires in the front they're they're not they're not dug down uh, mainly because they don't rotate. It's a back wheel, so rotate them. But details, details, details. And now here's the problem child over here. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about this. There's a really nice layer of rocks down there. And then there's a board under this mat right here. I decided not to use the long ones because I didn't want it to uh, snap up and maybe hit something on the undercarriage of the van. And of course, then I would have uh, even more <laughs> problems on my hands so getting ready to deflate them and um, I'll check in a little later Bre breakfast in what hopefully is not going to become my new neighborhood although I'm enjoying myself while I'm here I'm going to make a little breakfast help is on the way and uh, I'm going to explain it give you something to look at while I'm explaining yet another part of this saga <laughs> what I am going to make is a scrambled egg uh, tortilla and cheese. Uh, stick them in there. At the very end, I'll sprinkle it on top. And I think that'll be a great nourishment for this morning. So I'm just going to get started and then I'm going to talk about the latest developments. I guess uh, the first thing is my hand. It's got a you know huge blister on it. As I started putting this together, deciding getting food out and stuff like that, I looked at my hands and um, they were awesome. <laughs> Being a manicurist all those years, 10 years, 11 years, um, I never had to take care of my nails as much as, or pay attention to them as much as I do now. Uh, so that took a little while to clean my nails out and I decided to go ahead and uh, you know, put another dressing, clean dressing uh, on my blister. Looks like it's going to be fine. And really it's so much more comfortable having this protection. I have a couple more ace bandages. So this one is getting pretty dirty, but um, I turned it inside out and I'll try, um, I'll just stick it in the wash wash and put a clean one on when I start traveling. All right. For the news that you are waited on bated breath to hear, I have uh, the contacts in Mulehe that I met on the way down with my traveling companion who led the way down. We stopped one night in Mulehe at a campground that um, one of her longtime friends, known her for years. Oh, I wanted to, well, I wasn't going to put butter in here first before I warm the tortilla, but I'm going to go with it. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> so Andrea, this friend just sent me a little text or a big, long text. I tried one more time to get out this morning. I didn't work, not even for a nanosecond. I am just too deep. And so I reached back out to um, these this contact in Mulahe to say, could you look for a towing company around here? They speak Spanish. Um, find out cuanto, how much. Um, 
ask them if they take credit cards, um, and in that way, um, you know, kind of maybe smooth the process of uh, trying to get somebody out here. And this is what, I'm going to actually read the text, this is what she said. Okay, I just heard back from my friends. They are in Loreto this morning, which is south of Mulahay, about 30 miles or so, but are happy to come help this afternoon when they get back. They have a wench and everything we need to get you out. They won't ask for $400. They love helping and doing this kind of thing. Hang tight. We will get you out this afternoon. Yay! <laughs> How about that, huh? I think it pays. I think that this is just for me. Uh, number one, it's not coincidence. And number two, the value of patience and just not frantically looking for a solution. And I know, you know, situations may vary, and of course. There's a lot of reasons why sometimes that, you know, a person's not able to do that. As a general rule, though, uh, just kind of methodically trying this and that. And could I have thought of asking them that yesterday? Yes, I, I guess I could have, and I didn't. Um, also, yesterday when I when I talked to them, you know, they, you know, they're hearing from me out of the blue. Haven't seen me for a week or so, at least a week. So, um, you know, they were probably already in the middle of somewhere else, of something else. And, and I guess I needed to stay here. <laughs> so this morning, though, when I kind of actually had a request, like, oh, this would really help. That's when I heard back. So that patience of um, kind of letting things, putting out the putting out the intention, putting out the vibe, putting out the, you know, SOS. <laughs> and since life wants to, supports me. I'm not surprised that this is where, this is where I am this morning. Uh, I'm not surprised and hugely grateful hugely grateful that's a big part of this I'm, I I don't expect <laughs> well I expect my highest good to be taken care of after that oh this looks pretty good could be an omelet but I am gonna roll it up in this burger. and then I'm gonna put I'm just going to put, you can't see this. So I kind of made a little, uh, whoop, kind of little, made a little gash down the middle. I'm going to put these fresh veggies in there. Yum. And then I think I have a little packet of uh, Red Hot. I, I don't know where this is coming from, but I have developed a taste for liking a little bit of spice. Never expected that, but I am still a little judicious, so we're just going to put a few drops in there. Hopefully I didn't overdo it. That's, my, that's what I'm trying to do now is figure out where if my comfort level is. So I'm just going to let that cool a little bit while I finish this up. It is about... I think it was about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be this afternoon, so I'm getting something to eat. I'm going to walk on the beach, probably. I am going to make sure that the gentleman, Roman, who lives here, I'm going to take all his tools back up, his shovels that he gave me, all the wood that he dragged out here. I'm going to carry all that back up to, you know, where he is. So I'm going to be leaving a huge hole here in his yard. And um, I am going to offer to help fill it in afterwards. And I'm uh, perfectly willing to do that because it is a pretty big hole. 
Or maybe he'll leave it here to serve as a warning to anybody else that might be zooming up here. Uh, and that's a good point, I, you know, from Roman's perspective, okay? Just thinking for a moment of what this might look from like from Roman's perspective. This woman, you know, barrels up, gets stuck in your yard, ends up spending the night. I mean, I was out there digging under that van. I'm actually sore this morning which tells me I haven't been moving my muscles very much. A little bit sore this morning, got a little battle scar. Um, one of my friends just said, uh, Baja battle scars, <laughs> which is uh, <laughs> nothing too deep, nothing fatal. It's all gonna be good. So Roman, you know, seeing this woman come, spend the night, people come rescue her and then she's gone probably forever. I'm going to try to get a picture of him though before, before we leave because uh, what a nice gentleman. And also I can't help thinking that this is yet another opportunity to have a conversation and reflect on the experience having a conversation with someone in a different language and yet still finding common ground. He was very helpful to me and um, yeah, even more so, I feel like I'm heading the right direction. I'm going to eat now, and we'll see what happens. As I'm turn on the camera, show you the walk down the beach I kind of start thinking I, what came to mind was how many walking down the beach videos is enough and it turns out just one more <laughs> that's actually what Mike used to say about guitars and everyone knew <laughs> that image it's got a fluke on the end holy watch out there girlfriend watch out i got an umbrella that i'm dealing with here hey let's see oh yeah it's just one side She stops like that when she's relaxed and feeling safe. She doesn't go too far ahead. Kind of stays right around. And what I would like is that she does that when we're socially. Um, Anna's not sniffing around for snacks, food, crumbs, everything at the same time. Everybody doing their job. But they're really friendly. And here comes Imogene. Hello. She wants to play, but I don't think these guys know how to play. They're certainly interested in her. As I'm walking back to the van, I'm looking, look at that big pile, huge pile of sand on the right. That is from underneath the van. It's everywhere. Never a dull moment in my world. Maybe I should go get Roman. I did want to get a picture of him. <laughs> I feel like the front tires might get go down into the well.
you need? Is there a parking brake on? No. He's gonna make the line taut. He's gonna make the line taut. Okay, now what? Okay, now on the count of three, where go? On the count of three, go. One, two, three. Oh my god. You made it you made it look so easy after all of yesterday. A little bit of help makes a huge difference on where you can the difference between stuck and not is like this tiny yeah. line. Like, yeah, that's what I found it yesterday. <laughs> but even just like if your tires had been aired way down before you went through here, you might not have got stuck. Yeah. That's right, got another story to tell. Okay, all right, thank you. forget when I got um when we got to the airport Tom gets out and he's like this girl this girl just won the prizes right <laughs> he's like <laughs> screaming to all the people around the airport manifestation my next best manifestation was well actually the price is right was the best manifestation but it still it still kind of leads into the next part of my life